Hola! So I can't believe I haven't got around to making this video yet. So I thought, today is the day I'm going to give you nine reasons to learn Portuguese. Reason number one. Portuguese is spoken by over 200 million native speakers worldwide, making it one of the top 10 widely spoken languages on the planet. I don't know about other planets. Sorry. Reason number dois. If you've got some knowledge in Spanish or even French, Italian, then Portuguese is going to be a tad easier compared to starting a completely brand new language. In fact, personal note, it took me just a few months of speaking Portuguese, very little grammar book contact, and I kind of get by. The gal. Reason number Today, of course, Portuguese is spoken in Portugal, in Europe, and Brazil, in South America. But did you know that Portuguese is also spoken in little pockets across the planet, including parts of Africa and Asia? I need to stop saying planet. Reason number quatro. Portuguese is the language of the host of the World Cup. Sorry, what? Oh. Oh, the World Cup's over. Okay, that's happened. But don't worry, because Portuguese is the language of the host of... The Olympic Games in 2016. 2016? Yeah. 2015? Yeah, 2016! And if you're watching this after 2016, hello future! How are mobile phones now? Are they, do, do they still fit in your pocket? Because they're just getting bigger and bigger. Did they start to shrink again? Are they like pocket size now? Let me know. <laughs> Reason number cinco. Portugal is nice. Okay, I'm sorry, that's an understatement. The word nice does nothing for no one, does it? But really, if you're European and looking for a cheap holiday destination, then Portugal should be considered. It's cheap, culturally delightful, and the weather's not bad either. And they also have nice little tarts, custard tarts. They're nice. Nice. <gasps> Reason number seis, music. There's the no sa, no sa song. There's the ay 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 but don't worry if that's not your thing. There's also the fado music of Portugal, which is just uh, pulls on your heartstrings and uh, yeah. Reason number sete. Portuguese sounds really nice to speak. I need to stop saying nice, but it does. It just seems to flow. I mean, some languages, I'm not gonna name any names, but some languages take a little more effort, I find, but Portuguese is just blum, 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 blum. It's nice to speak. Reason number oito. I've never been to Brazil, but I do hear good things about how welcoming the people are. But I can speak for Portugal and say that everyone was really nice. Stop saying nice. Seriously though, if you speak a little of the language and you want to have a go, people are generally quite willing to let you try. And they were really supportive if I got it right or wrong. So this was cool. Reason number nove. Because there's no video telling you not to learn Portuguese, so... We can only conclude that's a good thing, right? Do you speak Portuguese? What reasons would you add to the list? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. You click the little button, YouTube does the work, everyone's happy. Wonderful. So I think that's about it. Ciao.